guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is kind of going to be a little review demo on another palette. I feel like I'm doing these videos a ton, but honestly, I think I'm going to say this in my next, uh, my last video you guys saw. I love doing these because I'm able to talk to you and chat with you about products, but then I'm also able to do like a little mini tutorial. Plus, I get sent a lot of palettes and I buy a lot of palettes, so, you know. It's just easy for me to make these videos. I got kind of tongue twisted. But today's video is actually, oh wait, you know what, first. First, if you're new, make sure you subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, leave me comments down below, and if you wanna see my tutorial and my thoughts and opinions on this palette, then let's go. All right, so first of all, you're probably thinking, what is this palette if I didn't put it in the title, which I typically do. So pretty much today, I'm gonna be showing you guys what the deck of Scarlet palette is. Does that sound so just mischievous? I am just gonna state before I start this video, this product was sent to me, but I'm not getting paid to say I love it or anything like that. I did was send the palette to me and they told me if I wanted I could make a video and I wanted to because I actually really do love this palette. Um, pretty much it comes in packaging exactly like NARS. It's that matte black, very, very, very high quality, gets everything on it, um, and then it doesn't come off, which sucks, but I I actually really like this packaging because it makes you feel like you're important and makes you feel fancy so pretty much everything you need to know is on the back of this palette I'm gonna give you kind of a rundown about what deck of scarlet is before I jump into the tutorial because I know this is kind of like a newish brand um, they're actually pretty new I think so pretty much what they are is a monthly subscription service and every month you will get a palette the monthly subscription service costs $25.99 which is a little bit steep for a subscription service but keep in mind that you are getting a palette a lip liner and an eyeliner which is honestly a killer deal because I know this since this is the first palette I don't know what's going to be in the next one but all the stuff you get in this is a very high quality it looks very gorgeous you can create day to night looks and that's kind of the point of this palette it's like an all-in-one um, so kind of keep that in mind as you see me use these products and talk about it. Um, I said it retails for $25.99. I'll leave their website down below so you guys can check them out. Um, so as for like the packaging, um, like you'll see in the video, they come with a lip liner, which is, oh my God, it's like the creamiest, prettiest lip liner ever. And then it comes with an eyeliner, which I don't know where it is. Um, you'll see my first impressions. The eyeliner wasn't my favorite, but I loved everything else. So, I mean, I was kind of okay with that. Um, as for what the palette looks like, I got oil all over my palette because like you guys know, I'm an oil whore. I'm an oil whore. I'm just going to say it. I'm an oil whore. Um, so there's oil all over this. And see what I mean by it's that like NARS packaging. Um, I will say I love that it's black and silver. I'm a black and silver girl. Black and silver is my favorite. Um, perforated is like my jam right now. Um, and then I love this about the palette. You can either just open the lip products or you can open this side. And this side you get like a gigantic mirror which is really, really nice. Um, and a few videos ago I kind of talked about how I love when makeup palettes are able to bend back and be cardboard because you can hold them like this and you don't have the mirror flipping up like this and it's very awkward. But I will say when palettes like have the mirror and they can bend back and forth, that's like, that is just like, Oh my god, I look like Lino Happy. Oh my god, I look like Lino Happy. Okay, so in the actual box when you get the palette, um, I got two letters. One was from the creators, which I'm not going to read you guys because that's personal. And then another one is what you would actually be getting in the like subscription. So this is what the first front of it says. Um... It doesn't really straight up say, but I'm assuming this was like in partnership with Kelly Strack. She's also a beauty blogger here on YouTube and Instagram and all the other stuff. I'll leave her link down below too. But pretty much she just wrote something on the back and it says, Hi babes, I had so much fun creating a tutorial of both day and night look both a day and a night look for you. These bold and pigmented colors are inspired by deep autumn hues. I hope you enjoy playing with this palette to create your own unique looks. Can't wait to see what you come with. XO Kelly. Um, and then this is the front. And the front just says, meet Kelly Strack, our artist in chief for this season. Kelly is like your best friend with out of this world makeup skills. With her sexy yet approachable style, we are thrilled to have her and introduce you to Deck of Scarlet. Um, so 
I'm assuming because this is the link down low. It says decascarlet.com slash um, palette zero zero. That's where you can check out all of Kelly's stuff. So once again, I'll also leave that link down below. But pretty much this is what the palette looks like. Like I showed you guys two lip colors and then you also get three eyeshadows, a bronzer and a cream blush. I spilled oil on that. So we're not going to talk about it. I'm going to go ahead and swatch these for you guys. I'm not going to stand up and do them on my arm because there's only three shadows. So it's kind of simple to do on my fingers. That is what the three shadows look like. This is the highlight shade. This is like the transition or outer crease whatever you want to do um and then this is like an olive emerald green shade and then i guess i will swatch them on my arm they look like swatch on my arm they're really really pretty the thing that i like about these is if you're a beginner and you're not really sure like how to use these colors and stuff they kind of look intimidating but once you start putting them on your eyes they're very 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 easy to work with and they're creamy and they blend and if you mess up because like you'll see i am very messy with my makeup it honestly has no effect you're able to just get it done you're able to get the job done so i really really appreciate that with this palette i'm gonna go ahead and swatch the bronzer no joke the bronzer is my favorite thing in this palette it's so creamy and it's so perfect for my skin tone like it's the best bronzer i've ever 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 tried um and then of course the blush the cream blush is stunning too you could even use this as a lipstick i mean no one says you couldn't so that's what the bronzer looks like it's like a cool tone but it still has like that warm i don't even know you guys. like i said it's like a life-changing bronzer i like I can't even. Um, and then this is the cream blush. I'm going to go ahead and just swatch these on the front of my hand. The blush is so stunning. Like, it's insane. The blush is so pretty. I never thought that I would like cream blushes as much as I like this one. So that's the blush and that's the bronzer. And if you guys can tell on camera, see what I mean by it's a cool tone bronzer, but it also has like a warmth to it. It's like, it's like the perfect bronzer ever. It's so pretty. You know, so I'm like so excited for some reason. I don't know. Like I just really like this palette. It's so bizarre. Um, and then lastly for the lip products, um, I'm not your this kind of lip product girl i am a tube go put it on take selfies with it kind of girl but this bottom like this dark color i was like oh my god i'm gonna be rocking a dark lip i'm gonna look flat i'm gonna look sexy and then i put it on and this is what i got it's actually not as dark or as pigmented or as intense or as intimidating i first thought which is pretty cool um so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys it it's very creamy and soft. That's what it looks like on my finger. Two colors. Um, this is the darker one and this is the peachy one. I was super intimidated by this dark one, like I said, because I thought that it was just going to be really dark and vampy and it isn't. It's very, very simple to work with and it's really pretty. So once again, if you're afraid of these kinds of colors, I think this would be really good for you. I'm going to go ahead and swatch it, these on my hand. They do come up more pigmented when you swatch with your finger, obviously. I mean, that's just how things happen. And then I'm going to swatch this peachy. Ooh, that peachy nude is actually really pretty um, next to it. So that's what these two lip gloss lipstick shades look like. Okay, guys, so that is it for, like, the palette breakdown. I kind of talked about the price um, and all that kind of stuff. So now I'm just going to go ahead and jump into the tutorial. First, um, I'm just going to be taking... By the way, I only use two brushes for this look, so this is going to be dope. Applying it into my crease. I'm actually really thankful that they um, provided this bronzer because it's actually a really good transition shade. And if you don't want to take that dark brown, you can take this and it's just really, really pretty. You can build this up however much you like. I'm building it a lot because, you yeah, know, that's how we do it here on my channel. But you can do it however you like. I don't care if it's messy or if it's not. To me, it doesn't matter because all the colors are going to blend with this color when we're all done. So, girl, you can, like, take it up to your brow bone, bring it down to your face. doesn't matter. Does it matter? And just remember, oh, God, that brow bone, that brow hair. Makeup doesn't discriminate, so we're good. 
we're good. Okay, now that that's done, I'm gonna be taking this dark cocoa shade. I'm gonna be taking on that same brush. Actually, this is a MAC 286. I'm just kind of like dipping and dabbling and you know, just getting my brush all dirty. Uh, this palette does have a little bit of fallout on the side I had some so you know you've been warned so you can't deal with fallout then bye Felicia bye Felicia as you can see I'm starting out in my crease area or my outer V I'm just slowly doing windshield wiper motions up and bringing it into my inner V and then I'm doing the same thing just now I'm doing it backwards into my outer V again like that gringo shit brush first so I spray it typically before and after. We'll let that simmer. Apply it to the lid, doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm just taking that same MAC brush, the fluffy one that I blended with, and I'm just blending all this together. More green on you guys, because this green lost its intensity when I blended, and I don't like that. So I'm gonna put on more Fix Plus. By the way, I keep saying by the way, um, Fix Plus, it helps immensely with shadows like this that don't have a ton of glitter, that kind of just have a sheen to it. Um, Fix Plus is going to be your best friend. I'm going to take that deck of Scarlet. Oh, God. Mm. Liner. I'm just going to put it on the lower lash line. Take that bronzer. I like the way this is going on. Um, I have like a Makeup Geek contour powder that I like the color, but when it goes on, it's just very deathly. This isn't too deathly, and I think it's because the pigment in this isn't as strong, which is actually really, really good. I like this so far. Kind of like dabbing a little bit. Oh, it's probably so much. Um, I'm just going to take it a little bit to like the back of my hand and see, since I've never used it, like I said, just kind of how it's coming off. The pigment. All right, so that pigment is intense. I'm just going to keep tapping it because I don't want my blush to be looking like that. I'm going to just apply this to the apples to my cheeks. Ooh, that's actually really pretty. Alright, so now I'm just going to let that kind of absorb for a second and just sort of buff. Um, I don't want to be too rough because I don't want to displace, displace the product. Ooh, this blush is actually really nice, guys. I typically don't work with cream blushes, but I like this. For the lips. I'm gonna go into the deck of Scarlet Pad, the lip liner that it comes with, and I'm just gonna apply it to my lips, obviously. I like the color a lot. The color is like Aquarius from ColourPop, which is my all time favorite lip liner. I'm actually gonna shorten it a little because I don't wanna break it because I really like this color and it's going on very nice. I love this lip liner. I think it might be like my favorite now. So I'm going to go in and do my lips. I'm going to be doing, my phone keeps going off. I'm going to be doing this like dark Bordeaux color. final look using the deck of scarlet palette i hope you guys enjoy it i will leave everything linked down below for you to check out if you do end up getting one of these make sure you tag me in it so i can see the looks that you guys create i hope you enjoyed this video like always give this video a thumbs up leave me comments down below and i will talk to you guys later i love you guys